Hey everybody, I've been getting some special requests. I always talk about my Weldcraft boat. And because I talk about it, people want to know more about it. And I've got some requests. People say, we want to know about the Weldcraft boat. We want Weldcraft boats. You know, we want a boat like yours. Tell us what makes the boat so great. And one of the things that I get caught up on is just always saying that Weldcraft makes the best boat. They make the best boat, they make the best boat. And I just say it over and over again. But I don't always explain why. Let me, let me go into the reasons why the Weldcraft boat is the best aluminum boat on the planet. Starts with the foundation. Heavy gauge metal, all welded. I look at a lot of boats, a lot of new aluminum boats, and I see all the rivets in the deck, in the hull, and I go, wow, rivets are just something to, that'll pop loose after time. Weldcraft boats are made to exacting specifications. Everything in the boat is a weld. If you go back and you look at the console right here, here's an example. With a lot of consoles, you'll have plastic parts. You'll have the fancy molded consoles with the little gauges. But plastic is not good. Plastic and metal, they heat and contract at different rates. And when they do, you get plastic in the hot sun. It heats up in the cold. It contracts, it cracks, and after a while, you end up with a plastic console that cracks up and is loose. Not with a Weldcraft boat. A Weldcraft boat is designed to last a lifetime. Console is all metal. It's all welded. You have your windshield that you could easy, easily replace and gauges that you can easily replace once the boat gets 25 or 30 years old if you need to. But that console isn't going anywhere like one of the fancy plastic consoles that they have on the other boats, which are just a cheap excuse for doing things the right way and making them out of metal like they should be. Weldcraft makes an awesome boat. Now, let me hop up into the boat and let me show you some other things. All right, here we go, right here. Let's start on the front deck. I'm not a small guy. I'm 6'1", 275. This is only a 17 foot boat, but the front deck on this boat is huge. And there's a reason why it's bigger than the front decks on the other boats. Let me show you why. Let's go right to the business end right here where the trolling motor is. On most of your boats, you've got your trolling motor coming across the front of the boat. When you put that trolling motor across the front of the boat, what does it do? It creates an area where the manufacturers have to design an extra lip so the trolling motor can set up here and then it cuts down on the length of the deck. Here's what Ron has done. Ron has taken a trolling motor box, all metal, put it to the side. By doing that, he's opened up the front of the boat. So now you've got more usable area. And that's the difference between Weldcraft. It's in the little details in the boat. More usable room. When you're on the front, front deck of the boat, sometimes you hook into a big one. <laughs> and you've got to tap dance around. You've got more room to tap dance in a Weldcraft boat, definitely. All right, now with this big deck, some companies don't take advantage of all the space that they have up here for potential storage. Not Ron. We've got huge tackle storage areas right here. Huge tackle storage areas. I can fit so much tackle in these areas and they pass through. They're not just one side. They go all the way through and come out on the other side. They're reinforced 
so they won't flex. Under, even under the weight of a big guy like me, I weigh 275. And I can put more tackle in this area than I can use. I, I've, I've never run out of tackle storage area. All right, right behind it, we've got more area. And I use this area right here for my necessary equipment, life preservers, ropes, anchors, um, raincoats, things like that. I've got plenty of room. Never run out of room. And I even have enough room for all of that, plus my camera equipment. Because when I'm running from one spot to the next, I've got to take that camera and I've got to pack it away, keep it in a safe spot while I'm running got plenty of room to do that in this in this boat no other boat I've had do I have that much room especially an aluminum boat 17 foot one the design of the live well Ron is taking the live well on this signature series boat he's put it right in front of the console kind of tucks it out of the way makes it more usable space where you can walk on it overflow right here so it's a simple design if it gets too high it flows over keeps the fish alive all welded when you look inside of it all welded all right thick plush carpet so at the end of the day feet won't wear out rocking locking rod boxes and tackle storage that way, after a long trip, you go to the restaurant, your boat is setting out in the parking lot, and you're not worried about all of your equipment getting stolen because you can lock it up. You can go in the restaurant and eat in comfort. Rod storage over here for seven to seven and a half foot rods. Goes from back here all the way up here huge rod storage area on the side easy to put down with your foot lots of room in the bottom of the boat big cushion seats my camera people love the big cushion seats on the wild craft boat when they're setting and they're running the camera you just see me, but they're sitting back here running the camera and the cushion seats. They love the cushion seats. They're comfortable. And at the end of six, seven, eight hours worth of filming, it's nice on your tush. It is nice. Lots of room for a big guy at the console right here. Lots of room. I don't have any, I don't have any trouble fitting in. And for big guys, you want a wild craft boat. You most certainly want a wild craft boat. All right, now let's go to the business end of the boat on the back end. People see me fishing in areas and they say, Joe, okay, you're going places where other guys can't go. Tell us exactly how you do that. It's a specially designed boat. It's a tunnel haul jet boat. If you look at the boat here, you'll see tabs. The tabs give the boat extra lift. Right here is a special tab coming from the tunnel that runs underneath of the boat. Here's what this does. Ron has specifically designed this boat where the engine, the foot of the jet, sets two inches above the bottom of the boat. It sets inside of the tunnel. And so even if the boat bottoms out, it can still suck water and still try to push you off of the areas that you're stuck in. Basically, what does it boil down to? It boils down to the fact that at 25 miles an hour, I can go through areas where I've got three to four inches of water and scoot right through with no issues. What does that do for me? That gets me away from all the other anglers that are out there. When I'm fishing a lake, 
I, I always think about getting to the areas that are least accessible, places where other guys can't go. If I can get away from the other areas where guys are, where guys are fishing at, and I can get to those least accessible areas, I can consistently catch more fish. And if I can head out of the lake systems, up into the river systems, past those first set, first few sets of riffles, where most guys don't dare go in their, in their fiberglass bass boats, I can eliminate them from the equation and catch more fish. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about catching more fish. That's why I have a Weldcraft boat. My Weldcraft boat helps me catch more fish. It helps me produce the most popular fishing show in the state of Ohio. Everything is a tool. Everything is a tool. Your boat is a tool. Have the right boat, have the right tool, catch more fish. Weldcraft, the best aluminum bass boat, the best aluminum boat on planet Earth. That's the reason why.